kuacha family living in Bethany near to Jerusalem. Kulikuwa na jamii iliyokuwa ikiishi Bethania karibu na Jerusalem. They were very poor but they were loving each other dearly. Wao walikuwa ni maskini sana lakini walipendana mno. And Jesus Christ loved this family very much. Na Yesu Kristo aliwapenda jamii hawa sana. Whenever he would come to the Jerusalem then you stay with this family. Wakati wote angekuja Jerusalem yeye alikuwa anakaa na jamii hii. One day when Jesus Christ was far down there beyond the Jordan River. Alafu siku moja wakati Yesu alikuwa ngambo ya mto mto wa Jordan. The one of the family member the Lazarus become seriously sick mmoja wapo wa jamii hii ya Lazaro akawa ni mgonjwa and two sisters Martha and Mary tried the best to treat him wao dada Martha na Mariamu wakamshughulikia sana kimatibabu they called the doctors they called the medics they brought the medicines to cure him wakalete madaktari wakalete dawa za kumtibu but he was not getting better at all lakini yeye hakupata nafuu kamwe so Martha and Mary wrote very quickly to Jesus Jesus Christ. Basi Martha na Mariamu wakatuma ujumbe kwa Yesu mara moja. And they sent for Jesus Christ to come quickly. Wakamtumania Yesu aje haraka. They said your beloved brother Lazarus is dying. Wakasema mpendwa wako Lazaro yuafa. But before Jesus received the letter, lakini kabla ya Yesu kupata ujumbe huo, Lazarus died. Lazaro akafariki. And Martha and Mary were in great sorrow. Martha na Mariamu wakakumbwa na hofu kubwa na huzuni. They were a desperate situation. Wakawa katika hali ya kuchanganyikiwa. It seemed as if the heaven came came down upon their lives. Ilionekana kuwa ni kama mbingu imeteremka kwao. And in great sorrow they buried the Lazarus. Katika hali ya uzuni mwingi wakamzika Lazaro. And one day passed but Jesus Christ never came. Lakini siku ya kwanza Yesu hakuja. The second day passed still Jesus Christ was not coming. Hata siku ya pili kupita Yesu alikuwa hajaja. And the third day came but Christ was not there. Siku ya tatu ikaja lakini Kristo hakuwepo. But on the fourth day they heard news that Christ was coming to the Bethany. Lakini siku ya nne wakapata habari ya kuwa kumbe Yesu yuacha kule yuaja kule Bethany. Martha rose up and she rushed out to meet the Jesus in the suburb of the city. Martha kanyanyuka huyo mio kwenda kukutana na Yesu katika barabara. Jesus Christ is waiting for the Martha. Na Yesu Kristo akawa yuko pale anamshubiri Martha. Martha rushed to the feet of Jesus Christ. Martha kakimbia huyo miguuni pa Yesu. She cast herself down at the feet of Jesus. Akajitupa miguuni pa Yesu. She cried. Na akalia kwa sauti. And she said, Jesus, if you had been here. Akasema Yesu, kama ungelikuweko. My brother would not have died. Huyu ndugu yangu asingelifariki. But strangely, Jesus Christ was not responding at all. Lakini jambo la ajabu ni kuwa Yesu Kristo hakusema kitu. And when she looked at the face of Jesus Christ. Wakati aliangalia macho ya Yesu Kristo, Christ was unhappy. Yesu hakuwa na furaha. She was shocked. Na huyu mama akapigwa na kumbwazi. She knew that she made a mistake. Akafikiri labda nimekosea. So right away she said Even now if you ask anything to the heavenly father heavenly father will give to you Akasema basi hata sasa ukiuliza chochote kwa baba yako wa mbinguni atakupa Then Jesus right away said your brother shall live again Alafu Yesu mara moja akasema ndugu yako ataishi tena Then mother said yes I know that he is going to rise up on the day of resurrection Mata akasema ndio Ninajua atafufuka siku ya ufufuko. But Jesus, I am the resurrection and the life. Na Yesu akasema, mimi ndimi huo ufufuo na uzima. He who believe in me so he may die he shall live. Yeye aniaminie mimi ajapokufa ataishi. And whoever lives and believe in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Na yeye yote aniaminie mimi ajapo hatakufa. Je Unaamini haya? But Martha said, "Yes, I believe you are the Lord, the Christ who is going to come to this world." Martha kasema, "Oh ndio, ninaamini wewe ndiwe Bwana utakayekuja katika ambaye umekuja katika ulimwengu huu." Jesus shook his head. 
Yesu akatikisa kichwa chake. Jesus said, "You go home and send your sister Mary to me." Akamwambia wewe enda nyumbani umwambie Maria muache. Do you know why Jesus Christ was unhappy with Martha? Je, unajua ni kwa nini Yesu Kristo hakufurahiwa na Martha? Jesus Christ came to help the family. Yesu Kristo alikuja kusaidia jamii hiyo. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Na Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana leo na hata milele. But Martha was only recognizing Jesus Christ of the four days ago. Lakini Martha alikuwa anamtambua Yesu Kristo kwa siku nne zilizopita. Said, if you had been here four days ago akasema kama ungelikuepo hapa siku ile iliyopita my brother will not have died ndugu yangu asingelifariki Jesus Christ came here now to raise up the Lazarus Yesu Kristo alikuwa amefika pale ili amfufue Lazaro but Martha was only recognizing Jesus Christ of the past lakini Martha alikuwa anamtambua Yesu Kristo kwa siku zilizopita. You were mighty in four days ago. Wewe ulikuwa wewe ulialikwa siku ile zilizopita. You were great God in four days ago. Wewe ulikuwa Mungu mkuu siku ile zilizopita. You could have healed my brother four days ago. Ungeweza kumponya ndugu yangu yapata siku zile zilizopita. My brother is dead now. Lakini sasa ndugu yangu ameshoa. So you cannot do anything. Uwezi kufanya chochote and that made Jesus Christ very sorrowful. Na hiyo ikamuhuzunisha Yesu sana. Christ is Christ of past. Yesu ni Yesu wa siku zilizopita. Christ is Christ of present. Na Yesu ni Yesu wa sasa. Christ is Christ of future. Na Yesu ni Yesu wa siku za usoni. Jesus never changes. Na Yesu habadiliki. Christ who did miracle yesterday. Kristo aliyetenda miujiza jana. He will do the miracle today also. Atafanya miujiza leo. He will do the miracle tomorrow also. Atafanya miujiza kesho vile vile. Martha believed the Jesus of the past today. Lakini Martha alimwamini Yesu wa siku zilizopita. That was reason Jesus Christ could not respond to the Martha. Na hiyo ndiyo ilimfanya Yesu Kristo asitikie Martha. So she was forced to recognize Jesus of present now. Akalazimishwa kumtambua Kristo wa sasa. She said, if you ask anything to the Father now. Akasema Iwepo utamuuliza baba kitu sasa. God will answer to you. Mungu atakujibu. She just jumped with the joy. Na Yesu akashu, akaruka kwa furaha. Because he was recognized right now. Kwa sababu alikuwa amemtambua yeye yupo sasa. So he responded to the mother right away. Na akaitika mama wakati ule ule. Yes, you are Brother shall live again. Akasema ndio ndugu yako ataishi tena. She could not believe the miracle of now. Hakuweza kuamini miujiza ya sasa. So she rightly pushed the Jesus to the future. Akamtupa Yesu kwa siku zijazo. Oh yes, my brother shall rise the day of resurrection. Akasema oh ndio ndugu yangu atakufuka siku ya kufufuka. Jesus no, I am the resurrection right now. Na Yesu akasema la, mimi ndimi huo ukuo na uzima sasa. Do not push me forward to the future. Usinipeleke kwa siku za usoni. I am resurrection life now. Mimi ni ukufuo sasa hivi. But she, she could not accept the Jesus of now. Lakini hakuwa amekubali juu ya huyu Yesu wa sasa. He says, yes, I know that you are the Christ who is going to come to this world. Akasema ndio ninajua wewe ni Kristo ambaye anakuja katika ulimwengu huu. Jesus was desperate to be recognized as Jesus of now. Yesu alitaka sana atambuliwe kuwa yeye ni Yesu wa sasa. But the mother tried to push Jesus back to the four days ago. Lakini mama akajaribu kumsukuma Yesu kwa siku nne zilizopita. Then again mama tried to push Jesus forward to the future. Alafu mama akajaribu kumsukuma Yesu kwa siku za usoni. And she tried to render Jesus as powerless presently. Na akajaribu kufanya kuwa Yesu hana nguvu ya sasa. We have exactly same situation in this 20th century. Na hata nasi katika tanari hii ya 20 tuko katika hali hiyo. Many pastors, many churches they try to recognize Jesus Christ of 2000 years ago. Wachungaji wengi na makanisa mengi yanajaribu kumtambua Yesu wa miaka 2000 iliyopita. They say oh 2000 years ago they Christ saved the sinners. Wanasema miaka 2000 iliyopita Yesu aliwaponya wenye dhambi. Christ healed the sick. Christ cast out devil. Akatoa pepo. Christ raised the dead. 
Oh, in the future, Christ will come back. And then we rise up. Tripled will rise up and walk. And blind and dumb shall see and talk. But we are asking question. Where is Jesus now? Right now we are suffering. Right now we are suffering because of sin. Right now we are suffering because of sickness. Right now we are suffering from the poverty. Right now we are in trouble. Who can help us? Where is Jesus now? Is he on vacation? Is he on travel? Where is Jesus? He was alive 2,000 years ago. He was alive. He is alive in future. Where is Jesus? So many people are the disciple of Martha. They say, oh, if Christ had been here four days ago, things would have changed. Oh, in the future, Christ will come. But Jesus is saying to you, I am here with you right now. I am the resurrection of life. I will say right now. I will face the devil right now. I will heal the sick right now. I will bless right now. I will take away the curse right now. Recognize me right now. Brothers and sisters, don't push Jesus Christ to the truth. Don't push forward Jesus to the resurrection day. My Bible says Jesus Christ is same yesterday, today, and forever. Christ, Jesus is here with you together. He wants to reach out and touch you right now. Miracle is on the way. Great things are going to happen. And the mother could not believe Jesus Christ up now. So Jesus Christ could not do any work through Martha. So she, Jesus said, you go home. Send, send your sister. She was a good disciple of the Bible. She always listened to my preaching. She would recognize me up now. So Martha went home. She said to the Mary, Mary, Christ is calling you. So Mary Rosa. She came to Jesus Christ. Christ was ready. Mary will recognize me of now. Because she is a student of the Bible. And Mary came and knelt down before Jesus Christ. And she cried. She sobbed. Then she said, Oh, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus, the heart of Jesus Christ to sink. Mary, you don't even recognize me up now. Jesus was unhappy. Jesus was even angry. Jesus rise up. Let's go and see the tomb. Where did you lay your brother? So he was marching toward the tomb. Multitude of the Jewish people are following after Jesus. And Mary and Martha were crying. They were unkempt. They were miserable. 
And Jesus Christ has such a pity over them. Because if they had believed, Christ would have solved the problem. But since they did not have the faith, they are suffering. They are in the great sorrow. And Jesus was having burning heart. Because unbelievers love that Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, you opened the eyes of the blind. Couldn't he keep the Lazarus alive? And Jesus was full of the anger. And he, when he cried, Jesus Christ did not cry because of the Lazarus. Because he knew that he was going to raise him up. He cried because of the love of faith of the Martha and Mary. Is Christ crying in your home? Is Christ crying at your church? How long are you going to make your Christ cry? You are unbelief would make Jesus Christ cry. You are unbelief make unbelieving people laugh at Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can reach to you through your faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. Bible says, shall be done unto you according to your faith. Nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. Are you, are you going to believe? Are you going to recognize Jesus now? Are you going to reach and touch Jesus by faith? Then you will please Jesus Christ. And they came to the place of the tomb. People all gathered together there. Mary and Martha were crying. And Jesus' his mother rolled the rock. And Martha looked at Jesus. Jesus. He has been here for four days. He is decaying here. We have the smell of stench here. And unbelieving Jewish people said, Martha, Martha, you came to there. Martha, Martha, who is here? You are fanatic. You are heretic. You can't throw the rock. That is a crazy thing. Don't do that. The mother and Mary were in trouble. But Jesus said, Mother, Mother, I told you, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. And Martha and Mary were in the valley of decision. They did not know how to handle the situation. Should they listen to the crowd? Should they listen to Jesus Christ? They should make decisions. If they side with the crowd, they will destroy the work of God. They will displease Jesus. But when they stand with Jesus Christ, they will be come out cast from the crowd. But finally, Martha and Mary made decision. They decided to obey Jesus. They were nonchalant about the fame. Let unbelieving crowd laugh at us. But we will follow Jesus. So they hang up on the rock. They try to push the rock away. Jesus was a strong man. 
Jesus could help them. But Jesus Christ did not help them. Because what human beings could do, human beings should do. Faith without action is dead. Mary and Martha should show forth their faith. So what can what they could do, they should do. They should roll back the rock. Oh no! Then they will really show to faith. Faith is uh, proved by the obedience. And two sisters hang up on the rock. They try to push the rock back. But the rock was too big. They were stabbed. They were sorrowful. They did not sleep for four days. They were tired. They lacked the strength. And they still tried to push the rock. And they were stretched. And they were bleeding. Unbelieving crowd were laughing at them. Jesus was watching their faith. They were alone. It was a lonely battle. But they pushed, they pushed the rock again and again. Finally, the rock rolled away. The sepulchre was open. Stench was flowing out. People were holding their doors. Then Jesus Christ came and stood before the Mara, Mary and Martha. What you can do, you should do. And what you cannot do, Jesus will do for you. Rolling part of the rock belonged to Martha and Mary. But they can never raise up the Lazarus. That belongs to Jesus. When you do your part, Jesus will do his part. Jesus stood before the open sepulchre. And Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus came forth. Miracle was done. Christianity is a miracle. Jesus Christ is a miracle. Church is a miracle. When you come to church, when you come to Jesus, you will have miracle. Jesus performed the miracles. Miracle is answer to the problem. Jesus wants to solve your problem by miracles. And here Lazarus came out. He was bound by feet and hand by the grave cloth. This face was wrapped up with cloth. And Jesus said to the people, Loose him and let him go. Jesus not only raised up the dead, but Jesus wants to give freedom to the Lazarus. You were spiritually dead once. You were in the spiritual grave. And someone prayed for you. Someone witnessed Jesus to you. So Jesus called you out of the grave of the, your spiritual death. Now you are alive spiritually. But so many of you are wrapped up and bound by the death cross. You are Christian. You 
Christo. You are attending church. You are singing the psalm. You are reading the Bible. You are But so many of you are bound by the devil. You are wrapped up by the main cross of sin. You are bound by the great cross of hatred and guiltiness. You are bound by the great cross of sickness and disease. You are bound by the great cross of the curse and poverty. Still, you are bound by the great cross of the fear of death. Are you really free? Jesus has set them free and go.